Hello, G Nation. It's your host, G, and we got a brand new character preview. It is Shinsuke Nakamura, Master of the Kinshasa. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late on this one. I had a hell of a day today. Didn't have time to do it earlier. So let's have a look. He's a showboat. His coach ability at 21,000 is move and gems. Trap countdown juggernaut. That's still out. Will steal a 100% more alt, does not include leech gem, so it is purely for alt steal. And now keep in mind, it is currently bugged. It does work for move, not for traps. I don't know about countdown and juggernauts. Now obviously that's not intended. It's kind of like King Woods that have the same issues. Uh, so eventually it'll get fixed, but as of now, it's currently bugged. Links with Smackdown and Modern Era and no gear. Now, uh, he does look pretty good. I haven't done a match with him yet. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, definitely looks like there is a ton of moveset variation. Uh, I don't know how many of them we're gonna try. Pretty much all the moves except one look interesting. So the first moveset we're gonna have a look at is the Kinshasa 10 MP yellow move. Finisher deals 440K damage. Choose the 11 eel gem to destroy and pin the opponent. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> The Jumping Cross Arm Breaker, 7 MP yellow move, submission generate 31 random submission gems and do 144.3k damage for 3 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into eel gems of straight 124k. The Inverted Exploder Suplex is a 7 MP blue move, deal 80k damage and choose 6 gems to make into yellow gems. Now, again, multiple options for trainers. I went with Lawler to start with more blue. Uh, I put in Randy Orton here so that all yellow moves do 45% more damage. Now, ideally, you do not want to use Orton. You would want to use uh, Demon King Balor, the trickster, but I don't have him. But he would be much better for that. He, he would add 150% to the finisher instead of 45. Pretty sizable upgrade, but I don't have him. Uh, coaches, I put Rick Rude and Gooker, both adding 25% to the uh, yellow move damage. Obviously, this is all to boost the finisher. You could add more, like you could put someone like Ziggler to increase the amount of yellows, but that's not where your damage is going to come from, so you don't really need it. Now, as far as the uh, belt, I do have a... Uh, yellow move damage unfortunately didn't have a takedown yellow move uh, I for a move set like that I would probably go double takedown uh, so I went with armor and takedown so the yellow being the armor one and I put in the basic the cheap shot plate which is whenever you land a gem critical hit reduce the damage of all your opponent gem by 50% for one turn other options you could go with the uh, the boss plate which is whenever you break six or more yellow gem, make six randoms into cross break. Didn't go for that because, again, gem damage won't really be a big part of this. Uh, but it is an option. Uh, Could have gone also with, where is it? Uh, this one here, the Kid's Lightning. Whenever you break three or more yellow, make seven purples into blue to kind of help your recycling should you need it. But I kind of went with Cheap Shot. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's try it out. I'm going to go versus Ivar. Okay, so I need six yellows. Just putting him on top because there's less chance of cascades. Now obviously we still don't have any eels so there's no point using the finisher which you can see does 1.5 so that means it would probably do around 2 million or something if I had the proper co the proper trainer with the demon Balor. Alright so let's do the submission still a pretty sizable 144 not boosted by anything. And it's gonna leave us obviously a bunch of eel gems. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do that 1.5 and I choose 11 to destroy, which is probably close to the amount we have left. Yeah, that's gonna take care of all of them because I don't need to select those three here because this one dropping was, will drop those. Obviously, I, I don't even have any damage right now, so it's not going to have much effect. And eel gems won't do any damage. But the move itself ended up doing 1.6 mil, which might be enough on its own. And it was. And we had the uh, submission that was already reloaded too. So that works out pretty well. Let's uh, look at a variation of that. All right, second move set for Shinsuke. It's gonna be the landslide, seven MP blue move, deal 86.3K damage plus 40.3K bonus damage for every yellow gem. The inverted exploder suplex, seven MP blue move, deal 80K damage and choose six gems to make into yellow gems. And the flying kick, six MP yellow move, deal 70K damage and increase your blue MP by seven. Uh, for that, again, you got a couple options. Uh, I went with uh, Kofi, obviously, so that we start with that yellow. Uh, I also went with Shane, which adds 40% yellow um, gem damage and create one extra yellow. If uh, your Shane ain't high enough, you got, I believe it's, uh, uh, who is it? I don't remember, but there's a couple ones that add, I think it's Cena adds 35% uh, to your uh, gem damage. But if you don't have Shane Max at 40 and adding one, you're probably better off just using Ziggler that would create four extra yellows. Because even though it wouldn't boost as much every yellow, you would be making more yellow. So Ziggler could be a strong second option too. Uh, I put in Strowman here because he adds 25% to the yellow gem damage and Austin because he had 20%. Uh, you definitely want to go with percentage over flat 2200. The reason for that is that if you add only 2000, uh, it will add 2000 to the move as opposed to adding 20% or 25%, which is much more sizable. Uh, as far as the uh, belt here, I did go with the boss plate here just so that when I'm ready to generate my pin, I will have some uh, boss... Uh, uh, boss uh, plate, not boss, boss plate, but X plate or cross plate that I'll be able to uh, use to help with that pin. I did go overkill on the medals though. Those are some pretty damn good medals. Uh, two of them are not leveled as you can see. <laughs> <coughs> but I'm using two uh, yellow running wild, which is the only running wild I got. Uh, that's the only set I got. I'm normally using them on Bobby Lashley, zombie Bobby Lashley. Uh, but yeah, we'll be using them there. That set adds 55% yellow gem damage, which is what we want this time. Uh, the rest of the stat ain't really good, but I don't care. I just wanted the set bonus. And I also went with a set of Fury 2, which adds 40% to all gem damage, which again has shit stats, but I just won the bonus. So those two alone are adding 95% gem damage for yellow so that's pretty damn good cool for that so if we check normally we have a base damage of 10.3k for the yellow gems with this setup we will have 33.7 so that means it's about 325 percent yellow gem damage increase we're getting which means that our move that normally does A base damage of 40 will probably do about 120 or a little over 120,000 <laughs> for every yellow if we triple it. Let's in game if that's the case. Oof, we don't have a lot of yellow on that board, so that's not going to be great. Get our blue. Yeah, 120k. About 300%, I guess. 
Okay, now we're gonna make seven yellows. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got 15 gems. We're going to do 120,000 each plus 71k. Could be like 1.6 mil, something like that. 1.72 mil. And it's still our turn. Now, I on purpose made a five match here to hope to get an extra turn. Which we did. We got our extra turn. Well, I could have made a six match to get me some boss plate, but I also didn't really want to risk it. <laughs> so we're gonna make another match here. Okay. Now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 yellows. So 17 times 120 plus 71k. Might go around 2 mil. 2.0 mil. And it is still our turn. And we're gonna swap that there. Obviously this time is gonna end my turn. But still 329K on that swap, which is gonna be more than enough. And we're gonna get the win. I like that one. And obviously if you get a starting board that is but much better, like I think this one had like six yellows or something when we started if you got a board that has more yellows i mean you start with a lot more damage right off the bat and again the opposite is true too if you barely have any but i mean six is probably as low as you're gonna see really so yeah i like that let's try something else all right other move set for shinsuke it's gonna be the jumping cross arm breaker seven mp yellow move submission generate 31 random submission gems <coughs> Hurry <laughs> and do 144k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into ill gems of strength 124k. The inverted exploder suplex, 7 MP blue move, deal 80k damage and choose six gems to mate into yellow gems. And a good vibration, 6 MP green move, deal 79.1k damage and choose one gem to mate into two turn juggernaut gem. That will increase your yellow MP by nine on every countdown turn and make 10 random EL gems into multiply gems of strength 10 at the end of the countdown. I don't typically like three colored move set, but on this one, we definitely can't afford to go with double MP. So I'm putting Lawler and uh, steel there so that we start with both the uh, green and <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> and blue moves ready we're gonna put rock here too so that the uh the multiplies will be 11 instead of 10 and i'm putting booker here just so that my uh, yellows are gonna do an extra five percent but i'm gonna make two more yellows too uh, i'm gonna keep the boss plate on to get uh, some of those out. Uh, although I don't think it's gonna be much of a factor. Might be better off with going with Heavy Machination, for example. Heavy Machination plate makes it so that your uh, when you match uh, some yellows, you get some green MP. We'll see. We'll get the Juggernaut out. Now, normally I tend to go and put them on loot boxes, but I don't like to put it on a loot box that can be matched out. So let's not do that.
And actually, instead of doing that, what I'll do, let's get rid of all of them. I'll make a five match. And hopefully it's gonna stay my turn. There you go. We got the boss plate that went off. We got one turn that went off too. Which means, <coughs> sorry. Which means now we're gonna put the submission out. It's gonna make it so that it's gonna leave the eel gems on the next turn. That juggernaut will go off and put those uh, eel gem into multipliers. And we're gonna have our blue move to make yellow back to connect all of those. Unless something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> and we got the cross gems. All right, so we got our multipliers there. And now we're gonna connect them. This is gonna destroy the whole bottom row. It's gonna refill our blue two with this one. This is gonna make this go off. Let's make this a yellow so we do more damage. Oh, let's make this one a yellow too. And how about making So you can go like that. And we'll make this one yellow too. The only one we're going to be missing is this one. How much is that going to do? Is that going to be enough? Two point three mil. Well, almost two point four mil. That should be more than enough. That turned out pretty good. All right, let's check a variation of that with the other green move. All right, last move set we're gonna have a look at for Nakamura. I'm sure there's more move set. Like I said, you can move a lot. Like you can mix match a lot of his moves. But this one's gonna be the exact same we just saw, except we're replacing that blue move by the other green, which is the midsection knee strike. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> 8 MP green move, deal 104.2k damage, and choose a 7 by 3 area to destroy. So it is a fairly large area. It's about half the board, really. Uh, so we're going to try to get those multipliers with that instead of converting them into yellow. It does mean they're going to do less damage, though. Trainers we're going to be using, Matt, so that our multipliers are going to be even stronger. We're going to keep uh, Steel so that we start with those green moves. We're going to keep, again, a Rock so that our multiplier is higher. They should be 13. And we're going to put uh, uh, Santa here. I don't care about the extra 1 MP. I do care about the extra 2200 to all gem because we don't know what color those multipliers will be. We don't have any control over that. I will go change the uh, plate though, because we don't really care about the boss plate here, because again, we can't uh, make it so that it's gonna be yellows. What we can do though, is uh, we can go with making, we could go with the jacket, which is, well, you could go with all art, which makes it that after the submission or green and purple are gonna do more. Yellow is our main color, so we could go with the jacket. Where the hell is my jacket? Like, swipe them. Or do I have it on someone? I don't remember putting it on someone. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't take it out of the female belt last time so yeah when you generate three or more submission gems increase your yellow and black damage by a hundred percent so i could go with that 
I could go with Cheap Shot as well. That could work. I could go with the Heavy Machination again too. Right, let's try that. We'll see how that goes. I think I like the previous one better just because you have more control over the damage you're going to be doing with all those multipliers. Alright, so we're going to lay that. Let's put it here. Oh, you don't want to use a 7x3 now because you want to keep it for after the submission. And unfortunately, you can't really use a submission on this one. We do have a 5 match here, but it's not going to give us our move anyway. Actually, it will because it will go off. So we can do the submission now. We got lucky with that 5 move, otherwise it just would have done a swipe and... We would have got it next turn anyway. Now when it goes off, it's going to be turned into a bunch of multipliers. There you go. Now here I get two yellows and one blue. Obviously, yellows are the ones you want to target the most because they're the one doing the most. And uh, I'm also getting a green, which obviously would reload my green move. I think this is the best options we got. Let's see how much that's going to do. Still 1.6. Likely going to be enough. But I definitely like the previous better. You can get significantly more damage with it. Significantly more damage with it. So yeah, that's going to be it with Nakamura. I I got a feeling I'm forgetting a moveset. I just can't put my finger on it because, I mean, I've been doing, I've been at it for like over two hours by now. I don't even remember what I tried. <laughs> so I might have missed one, but again, like... His moveset are pretty versatile. I mean, you can mix and match a lot of those. I'd say overall, he's a pretty good uh, character. I typically don't like showboats. Uh, I do like this one. Uh, although uh, Gable is so good that it kind of makes other feel less good. But uh, he's definitely good for sure. Uh, really good for sure. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any uh, any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.